Hello YouTube, thanks again for uh, joining me in this channel. In this video I want to talk about the national debt, that scary big trillion dollar number. Um, in this video Dr. Stephanie Kelton is going to explain how the national debt is nothing more than the savings account at the Federal Reserve uh, in Treasury Securities. And what happens is that uh, people who buy bonds, instead of keeping it in their reserve account, which is uh, a checking account at the Federal Reserve, they move it to a Treasury's account or a securities account at the Treasury, gaining interest. So that debt that everybody's talking about that we owe is nothing more than a savings account getting interest. Now, can the federal government pay the interest on the savings account? Yes, it creates the currency. It pays off the debt. So there's nothing really to fear. But yet our politicians tell us year after year, whenever it comes down to uh, the budget crisis and whatnot, that we're broke. We don't have any money. And what are we going to do? We've got to shut down the government. Understand that shutting down the government when it comes time to balancing the budget and coming up with you know the money to make sure that we have the funds to pay for things is nothing more than a political ploy and a political football that the Democrats and the Republicans use in order to play their political gamesmanship. And most of the people in America believe that, oh my God, the country is broke. We don't have any money. We can't afford this. We can't afford that. They're going to shut down the government. Uh, and it's not true. Again, this is just a political football, political ploy that they use in order to, it's gamesmanship in order to, um, to get what they want. Now listen, I understand there's always going to be rhetoric. In, politician, in politics, okay? There is such a thing as rhetoric, and that'll never go away. But what we, what we have to understand as a society, as a uh, people, is that keep the rhetoric, that's fine, but make it a little bit more to reality. You see, modern money theory isn't something that a smart administration would start to implement. It is actually how a federal sovereign government issues and spends its money and taxes the people, okay? This isn't something that you want to start brand new. It's how it works right now. So what we want to accomplish, what we want to do is allow, not allow our politicians to tell us that we can't afford single-payer health care. How are you going to pay for it? Who are you going to tax? We need to stop them right there and tell them, no, no, we understand federal finance. We understand that we spend money into existence. So don't tell me that you can't afford this or you can't afford that. Inflation, sure, that's a real true constraint okay you want to talk about constraints you know real constraints talk to me about inflation okay tell me how that if you spend money in a single-payer health care program or educating our young folks with free college tuition or better better yet a jobs guarantee program that'll increase the standard of living in every American practically overnight tell me that for, tell me that it'll create inflation and that's the reason why you don't want to do it and that's fine that's a valid argument but of course we know after studying that Japan has been 250 percent over GDP for over 20 years trying their absolute best to create inflation and they can't they can't America US has been trying now for maybe five to ten years to try to inflate the currency we got a zero percent interest they cannot create inflation it's it's yeah. Contrary to what the neoliberals and what the TV is telling you, what the talk show host is telling you, it is very difficult to create inflation. Inflation meaning too much money chasing too few goods. Right now, Americans are broke. They have no money. They barely make ends meet. Okay? And what we need is an influx of currency, true currency, net financial assets into the economy. We need to take lower down the bank credit and increase the currency. Okay? That's what we need to do. And uh, we need to do it in such a way that we put money in people's pockets. What do people do when they have money in your pocket? What do you do when you have money in your pocket? You go out and you buy a refrigerator. You buy a new car. You buy, uh, you buy a new Nintendo set or whatever. Maybe that was 20 years ago. But sales produce the economy, makes the economy grow. It's not what they tell you is that, oh, we need to give tax breaks to the wealthy, to, the, to, the, to, to these people that own corporations. That way they can invest, and it's not true. I don't care how much tax breaks you're going to give to a corporation. If, there's no, if people do not have money in their pockets, they're not going to buy. And if they don't buy, they don't hire. See? See how it works? So, again, this isn't anti-capitalist. I'm all about capitalism, but let's try to make it work, right? for the 99% and not the 1%. So in this short video, you'll see 
uh, Dr. Stephanie Kelton talk about bond vigilantes and bonds and why people buy bonds and how it is that the national debt is nothing more than a savings account. We need to spread this information out to the common folk. And again, like we said before, the goal here is so that whenever politicians talk about who do you want to tax in order to afford single-payer health care, the goal here is to have most of the people in the audience stop that politician and tell them, no, no, tell me the real reason why you don't think that we as a society shouldn't have single-payer health care because we know that it's not a matter of affordability. We can afford anything we want in our currency, right? Tell us that you got inflation around the corner, which any economist with their salt would clearly say, hey, they're in, uh, inflation is no, nowhere near, nowhere near, so it's not an issue at all. Tell me you don't care that people are dying on the street. You don't care about educating their young folk. Tell me, it is, tell me, right out, tell me that businesses, business, it's better for business to have high unemployment that way you got 13 people in line waiting to do that one job that that guy is gonna let go because he's not making enough money and you can drive wages down. Tell me that, tell me the truth, right? Again, modern money theory is apolitical. You can be a libertarian, a Republican, an independent, a Democrat, it doesn't matter what you are. Modern money theory just tells you the truth of how money works and, and a sovereign, country issuing its own currency, then you take it from there, you know? Rhetoric there will always be. But let's tone down the rhetoric, make it a little bit more rea uh, uh, touching reality, and then tell me the real reasons why you don't want to fund these programs that the majority of Americans really want and have been asking for, okay? In the end, neoliberalism is the enemy. Privatization of our economy, of our society. We don't believe that the world is all about profit. Of course it is. We're a capitalist uh, economy, a capitalist country. We believe in profit, but we just don't believe it to such an extent that it kills people. It kills people, because that is in fact what it does, okay? So watch the video. Again, subscribe to my channel, The Economic Trucker. Share the video with everybody you want to know, with everybody you know, and remember to watch the introductory, my introductory video first and watch the, uh, the basics of uh, modern money as, a, as, a, as an introductory to your study on money. Thank you very much for listening. I look forward to making more videos. I'm here all day. I'll probably make three more before the end of the day. Thanks.